So this piece is a cabinet that I bought probably a little more than a year ago, I'm thinking. I bought it to, um, I bought it as a piece to put in my bathroom. I was going to use it as a vanity um, because my bathroom, it looks like I loosened that a little bit because of uh, moving it. Um, so I bought it for my ba downstairs bathroom to use as a vanity thinking I was going to remodel the bathroom, but just a lot of things have happened. Um, I'm not going to end up remodeling that bathroom um, probably, um, I can't see, it's just, it's a job that's too big for just me, and, um, I do a lot of things, but I, I try not to take on things that I have a doubt that I can finish on my own, I like to start a project and finish it, um, so that'll be for the next person, and, um, so this is going to be part of the, um, challenge <laughs> and off the top of my head I can't remember what the challenge is copycat challenge yep um and I know what I want to do with it and you know there are a lot of artists on YouTube um so many of whom that I really love uh, I love their style I love to watch um so I don't know exactly what this is going to turn out to be um, it, I was racking my brain. There was one particular artist that I wanted to copy that does things that I don't do. Um, mid-century <laughs> modern furniture, I'll give you a hint. But it would take, it would take too long for me to do this piece in that style. I would have to completely take down the finish, which uh, I'm not going to do. The only thing I'm going to do is take the top down. Um, and I'm going to paint the rest. I'm going to decorate the front and I'm going to decorate the cabinet. Um, have kind of a loose idea, but this morning I am going to go into my stash and I'm going to pick out a piece of decoupage. And that piece of decoupage, whatever I choose, is going to lead the way into the design of the finished cabinet. So I don't know. Um, there are a lot of artists that I love, so many that I love. Um, Brandy, brushed by Brandy, uh, Kasha from Kasha Furniture. She's wonderful. She does all the gold. Um, there's Kristen Mind, and I, I totally forget the name of her um, her channel, uh, but she does all the glittery, um, shiny surfaces with a lot of transfers and molds, and um, she does a lot of the tall jewelry boxes. She just, I love her work. I'm trying to think, yeah. I'm not going to name the one I wanted to copy because someday I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, loads of people that I love. If I didn't name them here, it's not because I don't love them. I'm um, Lel from Made by Marley. But a lot of these people, they already do kind of what I do. Um, so it's hard for me to say I'm copying them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I copy every artist that I look at. Just I absorb a little bit of their flavor into the things that I love to do. So, um, I mean, we all copy each other, I guess. I, um, it's hard to nail it down to just one, because I think my style kind of covers, a, um, I'm being too wordy. Anyway, the one artist that does things that I typically don't do, um, that I've never done, I'll put it that way. Um, not the way that she does it, it's female, um, or she's a female. And, um, Anyway, I wouldn't have had the time to do that with this, though I really wanted to. I'll just put it that way. So anyway, let's see what happens. It's going to be just a surprise because I haven't even picked out my decoupage yet. Hi, my name is Kat from Owling Dog. I love creative arts and restoring old furniture and other items. The time you spend watching this channel is appreciated. I hope you subscribe and like these videos, which helps circulate the content. Feel free to drop a comment. All of these are appreciated. Well, let's go see what's in the barn. So the door kind of fell apart. Ugh, so I'm going to just take the rest of it off and try to fix the screws.
And so um, I'm underneath it and taking a good look at everything. A um, piece of the uh, veneer chipped off, or a piece of, I'm sorry, the wood chipped off, which I actually saved. So um, right here, I'll be able to glue that back in. And then as I'm washing it, you know, I can see that, oh, that actually looks like a nail that's coming through. Strange though, there's nothing on the underneath. So I'm gonna have to lift that up a little bit and see if I can't clamp it all down. Um, what I did was I went over it with um, my special Zep cleaner. Um, that's a no rinse floor formula, but I do rinse it. And a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid and then I rinsed it off totally. And then I just went over it with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, that will rough up the finish enough so that I can work on it. But let's see, I'm gonna have to get some putty at home because it's too cold to store it here. Get my paint colors, and get my glue. Let's see, that's weird, huh? <clears throat> Looks like somebody clamped something here. Um, and yeah, and try to fix these little dings before I do anything. So, yep, let's do that. So there are, there are little nails coming through here, just on the back side. And um, I don't want them sticking out because, yeah, um, you know, somebody dusting it is going to run their hand underneath it and get jabbed. So, yeah, I actually don't want that. So let's try and see if I can bend it over at least. Off camera, I filled in a lot of the holes and digs that I found. I gave the entire cabinet a couple of coats of the spray shellac. I was going to do the top with a gel stain, but after spraying it with shellac, I realized how pretty it was, so I decided to just leave it with the shellac. And um, as you can see, I did shellac and clear coat and then some paste wax as well. And it looked really pretty. Now, I used just a regular chalk paint because I already had a couple of coats of shellac on as a primer. And this is a white, you know, an off-white 
chalk paint so that I could do my decoupage over the door. Right now I'm trying to figure out if I have the top, the bottom, the front, the back. <laughs> and it takes me a minute just to make sure that I have the right side. Here I'm just wetting the edge of the decoupage paper just to tear it neatly so that I don't have that really square edge when I'm applying it. And just dip to brush in a little bit of water just to make it easier. Unfortunately, I had the camera going, but I must have bumped it and turned it into the wrong position, so I didn't catch me putting down the decoupage paper. But I used a matte gel. I'll list all the products at the um, underneath the video in case you're interested. Um, it's, um, it's actually an inexpensive one that I got from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, and it works just fine. This is a mixture of three colors that I put together. I would say it's about a blueberry color. And I'll list the colors below that I used. I, I One was Bunker Hill Blue, Dixie Belle. Um, another Dixie Bell color called Dusty Blue, and um, a third color, it was a, um, a white pearl metallic paint, just an acrylic paint that I mixed in there. Yeah, and I liked it. And then the other paint that I'm going to blend in is just the straight Dusty Blue, but on the video it's going to look like an off-white. It's not. It's blue. Very, very simple. And both of these colors were in the background of the decoupage paper.
down. And you can see how easily it just blends together. water to soak these but they didn't really come out that nice and I ended up doing um, a little bit of copper gilding wax over them um, I even did a little bit of the copper paint over them at the end yeah and they look much better I like the style with the little ball on the either end really pretty I want to protect my finish on top of the cabinet so that I can paint the sides. Now, I'm just making myself be very irregular and just throwing down different colors. I tried to use the colors that um, I saw in the decoupage paper. And you can see right here, it's just natural for me to start blending. <laughs> so I have to make myself not blend. It's not bad. It's it's not bad to blend. It's just that I didn't want it to be my usual. Um, I wanted to, when I saw the colors and started putting down the paints, it reminded me of my friend Jody and the way that she stipples and just the way that she mixes colors right on her piece of furniture. And I said, yeah, this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to channel Jody, and um, not she does some blending as well, of course, but uh, she does a lot of really, really neat stippling mixtures and layering and just lots of neat things. So you'll see. I'm going to stop blending and I'm going to start hitting my brush onto the cabinet. So I'm stippling the colors together. So now I start to stipple. The yellowish white paint is an acrylic Benjamin Moore sample can that I put some calcium carbonate into. And I just made my own chalk paint. And it was nice and thick and pretty color.
So the red is a rusty red, um, actually a mist tint that I got from Lowe's. So here I'm using the spray gun and trying to get a few drips going on. I love having a plan sometimes when I'm doing a piece of furniture. 
but I also just love throwing color on and seeing what happens with it. It's just, it's very, very soothing and therapeutic. It's just a fun way to do paint. It's great when you have a piece where you can just let, you know, let your imagination go with it. Um, I love doing customs and I love doing commissions, uh, but you know, you're limited to what a client will want to have happen. So it's nice when you can just, you know, you take a piece and you just start putting colors on and just seeing what happens. Um, not usually disappointed. You know, sometimes the furniture itself is it's not a great piece of furniture. Those are the ones to do this on, are the ones that just have either a lot wrong with them or, the, you know, they're just not a good piece of furniture to begin with. So it leaves you your freedom and your creativity. So here I took some metallic paint and I did the, the, um, the grooves that are here. And then I'm also putting on some copper gilding wax. to do a stencil with wax on the sides and so I want to do some finishing on it first. So I did a coat of acrylic spray. That way I can put my wax down. If I want to move something, I can move it. So here you can see that I, I you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just thinking that, oh, I'm just going to paint over this stain but that stain wasn't having it. I did four total coats of paint. I did, I think, three coats of shellac, and I did a coat of acrylic spray, and nothing I did with that black splotch, nothing removed it. Here's the top um, coat that I'm going to use. Um, I have a cheap synthetic brush, but it's really, really soft, and I also have a little foam, high density foam roller. Um, so I like having my door open, but I might have to close it because I live, you know, on a, I don't live on a dusty road, but the barn is on a dusty road. So I'm going to put the um, top coat on with my brush and then I'm going to go over it with my foam roller. Oh yeah. between um, on the body of the cabinet which is pretty challenging I mean my hand was cramping I ended up with a claw by the time I was done <laughs> Okay. 
I'm also holding on to the cabinet itself with my feet because it's on rollers. And when I put pressure on the side of the cabinet, it wants to roll away from me. So here I'm putting a coat of Howard Citrus Shield paste wax. Um, I just love putting wax over my finishes, especially on the top. Um, and I did the entire body with the paste wax. And on these details, I'm doing some black wax as well. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video was part of the Coffee Cat Challenge presented by Nina at Redesigned by Nina. And she had this great idea of putting together a challenge where we would pick our favorite furniture artist and try to copy um, what they do. And um, it's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, I wasn't even sure what I was going to do when I started it. Um, I just let the piece kind of tell me what to do and I'm a big fan of blending and when I got um, to the front based on like the decoupage paper I said well here's where my inspiration came in and that was some um, Jodi Flavel art uh, she was formerly um, Decorous Vintage Designs and she recently changed her name now it's her name Jodi Flavel and you can find her on YouTube um, she does a lot of the um, like stippling and the drips. I, I know that other of us do too, but um, if you watch her channel, she just she's very artistic and she just kind of lets the piece kind of come together. And so that's what I did. Um, so I would uh, say that, yes, I was channeling Jody here. She's kind and she's sweet and she's super talented. And I could only hope to echo something that she does. Um, so it was hard to pick a favorite artist because there are so many artists that I love and admire. Um, so part of what happened with this was, um, you can see inside, there was a black stain inside. And I said, oh, that's no problem. I did a couple of coats of shellac um, and painted over it and it kept coming through. Nothing I did, I put shellac, um, I did acrylic spray inside. Um, and it just kept coming through. It must be some kind of oil. That's all I can think of. So what I ended up doing was um, I did the black wax with the same um, stencil as is on the sides. And I tried to take care of it that way. But yeah, um, had a little problem getting up here this week because I saw something flying around a couple of weeks ago. And that was downstairs in the oldest part of the barn, and um, that just really freaked me out. It was hard to come up here, um, but I finally did it, and I got up here and finished it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you'll watch all the other participants, and we'll bound to see some wonderful um, paint and artwork. And so, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you kindly for watching. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the day and rest of your weekend. Thank you. <laughs>